Hi everyone, welcome back to another Open With Me. And as you can see, I've got a magazine through the post. And it is an inside crochet. Now, I recently subscribed because they had a really decent offer. Um, now, I wondered if all of the free gifts would come because I, they do with the previous ones I've subscribed to. But it does come in this plastic and it says bonus book. Um, so that must mean that they do. So this is the new one. Let's get it open and get the bits and bobs out. Oops. Okay, so nothing much to write home about on that uh, cover. So we've got Discover the New Season Yarn Books and Trends. Um, fairy Tale Friend, which looks like Red Riding Hood. And we have insidecrochet.co.uk. We've got a lion wall hanging. Charming bookends. And garden wristies. Paper sheaf collar. This kind of, well, it could be shawl, shawlette kind of thing. Um, and we've got a throw or style craft blanket packs giveaway. A new sheepies yarn. Bookazine prize. Try new techniques, slip stitch and fillet blanket. Easy embellishment, cute amigurumi and colour work bag and cushion. And novel makes. Okay. What's the gift then? <clears throat> Gorgeous granny patterns. Oh, that might be interesting to have a little look at. It's not very thick. So that is probably... One, two, three, four, five patterns is probably what's in it. We'll come to that at the end. The gorgeous granny patterns. But let's go down a little bit, get in the right place. Okay. So we've got a motif cardigan, a reversible shawl and a slogan sweater as well, which I didn't spot before. Now this is that magazine. So we've got the welcome page and then we've got those um, little tiny itty bitty thumbnails that I can never really see any detail on, so I'll never take any notice of. Um, and it's got a table of contents as well, if you wanted to find something quick. In the loop, what we got here, pe supporting people in Ukraine, ways to help. You can donate um, in many ways, there's like a few listed there. We've got cool cottons that they're looking at, joyful making, I don't think that's in the book though. And then over here, we've got in the spotlight, our pick of the prettiest spring yarns and accessories. Doesn't really show you very much, does it? Tinned goods. So we've got, who doesn't love a tin? I used to have lots of tins. But they, um, they got thrown out by my ex. Pretty hooks. And we've got a bee happy bag. Lots of things with bees on at the moment. Most of my kitchen utensil things have got bees on tea caddy and stuff like that all with beads i got them last year though so we're looking um at different yarns now this one um i sent a sample of this when i first started to look at um doing signet yarns and it is their jelly sparkle it's quite nice actually it's a very very chunky yarn though it's like a chenille with a sparkle now i did have one of those to show a little while back um King Cole Zigzag, I'm stocking. That's definitely in my, my shop. But we've got colour wheels. So there's a few um, different kind of bits and pieces on the different yarn cakes and colours that you can show you in a wheel how it works up. I normally do a swatch, not a wheel, but never mind. Now we've got Japanese omelette is the, um, the recipe. They always have a recipe. So it's got cucumber, onions, uh, chilli, lime, salt, eggs, <clears throat> soy sauce, Worcester sauce, rice wine vinegar, oyster sauce, corn flour, any favourite oil, and jasmine rice. Well, that's optional. I was looking to see if it was low carb enough for me, but, um, well, maybe later on. But then again... I'm not sure about omelettes. I remember once getting an omelette from a Chinese takeaway and 
Now, my, my son Paul loves them, and his other half, they love them. I think they're weird. But, you know, everybody's got different tastes, haven't they? So this is the cheapest terrazzo, which I have been looking at stocking in my shop when it gets up and running. Books. Okay, crochet in a weekend. <laughs> That's a boast, isn't it? So this book will get you crocheting in a weekend for 18 95 Crochet at Work, $14.99. Modern Girl's Guide to Granny Squares for $10.99. Um, and Bonnie the Cow and Friends is $12.99. Right, yo. <laughs> Capturing the Shades of the Coast. Well, I've got to do is look out the window. I'm quite lucky to live by the sea. Um... Lots and lots of little bits and pieces of editorial eco yarns. I've got a few eco yarns in my shop, a few recycled. I like to carry a few recycled. The story of your stash, using your stash and special skeins. Lots and lots of um, editorials in this one. Does that mean there's a lack of patterns? I wonder. Using your stash. Dash and Special Scum read that once. Good grief. That's just an advert for a Stylecraft blanket that was in last week. And this is the Win the Gorgeous, gorgeous Yarn Bundles. Win Stylecraft blanket packs and join Catherine Bly's stunning new Under the Sea crochet along. So this is the crochet along and you can win the yarn. Tells you how to do it on that page. <clears throat> Reading room. Now, with these usually are the pictures of what's in here. I don't like the sleeves on that, I'm afraid. Look at the... L oh, that would just wind me up considerably, and so would they. Now, I've made quite a few pairs of uh, fingerless gloves in my time. But I've never thought to put flowers on them, but they're not... You know, you could just add any flowers to any gloves, couldn't you, really? It's not... You don't have to make those particular gloves, but you can... Just put some embellishments on. This is the collar. Well, it kind of reminds me of Elizabethan times. So this is the book lover. Ah, the slogan sweater. But as you can see, it's row after row of possibly UK trebles or half trebles, which is a double and a half double. I'm not keen on it when it's like that. To me, it just looks like lots and lots of stripy crochet. I'm not really keen. If you had maybe that part where you could put the, the motif in, but just put a few extra, you know, bits of something else in, I'd prefer it. That's just my personal preference, though. I know everybody's different. So this is quite nice looking. It is one that's pointy, though. And we've got a very abstract bag. Still must finish my bag, seriously. Now that looks quite nice. That's more a pullover that I don't mind because the sleeves are not horrendously baggy and it has a little bit of thing to break up the monotony of the row after row of, you know, I've said it before so many times. Rickaroomical Beach Party. Try saying that when you've um, had a couple of shandies, honestly. So that looks kind of interesting. Join the beach party and crochet six super colourful Rikarami characters from the 26th of March. And for the following six weeks, we will launch a brand new free Rikarumi figure available from our Rico Designs website. So I like Rico Designs. I've used their yarn a lot. So this is the um, wall hanging. I think that'll look nice as a cushion actually but it's a wall hanging now that is pretty now this is that planned pooling isn't it um i did do it once had a little go thought that looked really nice didn't go back to it and there we've got a a cushion with a bit of a slogan on bookish this is all about reading isn't it getting your reading area nice and cozy i'm not quite sure what that's all about we'll, we'll find out no doubt and oh, we've got a spaceman wow <laughs> Spaceman 
And we've got a Red Riding Hood and lots of little amigurumis. Story time finger puppets, they are. Story time finger puppets. Uh, oh, now I thought, that's kind of unusual. Be nice for a child, wouldn't it? Little teddy bear in your hair and a dolly. Okay, so this is digital subscription. Start from as little as 19 99 for six months. Obviously, unless it's a booklet, you might not get the free gift. I don't even know if you get it if it's a booklet. These are the makes. Again, the thumbnails are too small, so let's carry on. The Bronte cardigan. Actually, it's quite nice. The actual... It's got a lacy bit at the bottom. And I can see why then with the lacy bit at the bottom of the sleeve. I can see that. And it's not all the way to the bottom so it's not as bad for me i couldn't do that if this was down to my my wrist um i don't i've never been one to wear puff sleeves or bell kind of sleeves you know those scallopy ones can't do it um if i'm wearing anything long sleeved at all it has to be very very thin and kind of finish at my wrist and not go baggy um but i prefer three quarter length sleeves i've just never been cold-blooded enough to actually want to wear a pullover um no matter what time of year it is and now i like the back though i like the fact that it's v-back that's actually pretty isn't it i like that that's nice well they redeem themselves so there's all the dimensions and the charts and everything else to make that and we've got loopknitting.com not very loopy is it oh here we've got the book loves or book lover, should I say? Book lover. The pullover. Now, those would drive me crazy. They go down far too low. But, you know, if you're making it, you don't have to do that, do you? But you should have a nice chart for the words. There they are. So that's pretty cool. You could always do that on a cushion if you wanted to. And this is the Cozy Nook cardigan. Hmm. Okay, so I'd leave out one of those squares. And then that would be a bit tighter, wouldn't it? Maybe I'd leave that too. If you look at it, if, it, if my arms were as thin as hers, perhaps. But it's just basically different kind of coloured granny squares. And this is all the charts and the putting together chart and the sizing. Okay, secret garden wrist warmers. Okay, so they're plain and they've got this lacy kind of, excuse me, scallopy edge to them and then they're very romantic if you know what i mean if you get my drift i don't mean romantic in the sense of anything other than you know like bookish roman romantic period sort of thing now i like this the new page shawl although i don't do pointy ones this one is completely reversible uncomplicated accessory that will be a welcome addition to any wardrobe Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's not pointy. Okay, is it a wrap then? I kind of think it might not be pointy now. It's just the way she's got it on. It's not really showing it, is it? Oh, it's one of those. Now, I can't really get my head around why we have them this shape. Why? I don't, I don't understand. that. I don't understand that shape as a shawl. It'd have to be not symmetrical or no... I don't do good with things that are not symmetrical, but I don't understand how it would make you warm either. Anyway, this is the collar. It's called Paper Sheaf. And there is a chart as well as the written pattern advert. Classic striped jumper. Now this isn't, quite, this isn't too bad. As I said before, it breaks up the monotony of the row after row of the same stitch. I like the little stripe in. And the sleeves don't look crazy, do they? They look nice and um, tight. And there we go. There's all the... They've got small to extra large, which is pretty cool. Another advert on that page. And here we've got the bookshelf bag. Oh, I see. I get that now. They're designed to look like books on a shelf. Don't really, though, do they? If you didn't have it next to your bookshelf... You wouldn't think, well, wow, doesn't that bag look like a bookshelf? <laughs> it just looks like colour. But there you go. Nice, different idea. There's the chart, should you want it, if you do. Green Gables book cover. So that's what that was. It was a book cover. 
enough said and um, what's this well that's just an advert not even in this book bookish cushion cover so really this is just for the cushion cover not the throw which would be quite um a lot more involved maybe it's in here we'll just have to wait and see somehow i don't think it will be but we'll see this is just for the cushion that says bookish so we've got the chart and everything to make that wouldn't it be lovely if i turned the page and the next thing i saw was that lovely blanket anyway back issues should you need them how to get them goldilocks and Bess. that's who she was i should have realized shouldn't i but that's kind of cool for a child don't you think kids will love that Oh, it's sweet. There they are, uh, up close. Let's see if we can get... No, it won't let me. It used to let me zoom, but it's not doing that anymore. There we go. Must have been an upgrade to the software that doesn't allow it anymore. A bit annoying. Wow, that's nice. I like that. That's a basket, and it's made to look like a row of houses. Isn't that cute? I quite like that. It's called bookends. Bookends? Really? basket oh well maybe i'm missing something subscribe today only three i'm oh, just sorry i didn't need to shout 375 an issue save 325 every issue so if you want to do that this is where you subscribe looming up at you now oh there it is the library blanket okay so this perfect blanket to keep you cosy when you're curled up on the couch with a favourite book. I have to say, I never read books. I know I should. I used to. But then I went to university and I had to read so many. It put really put me off of ever reading. Gary likes to read a book. He does one on his Kindle. He used to like physical books that you could turn the pages. But now um, he more or less goes on the Kindle. So this is actually really nice and you can see all the ends have been incorporated to make a tassel it's kind of cute wow i wonder how they do it might be a lot more easier than i think story time finger puppets so i don't know how many we've got in this book if they're all there but we've got a little lion he's cute um now i want to say kangaroo but it probably isn't <laughs> it probably isn't Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got a dragon. Which was the dragon? I don't remember a dragon. Was this a dragon then? Okay. Uh, mouse. Mouse. Not kangaroo at all, is it? Lion. King's head and body. Ears. Oh, muzzle. That's different parts, obviously. Uh, no, can't find any more there. Oh, here we go. Um... Head of arms, boots, body of what? Must be a bit harder to, than I thought. Oh, there's obviously a red riding hood as well in this book. There she is. And here's the wall hanging. The lion wall art. It's better than having a real one on your wall, I guess. But nice for a child's room, if you put it on the child's bedroom wall. And there's the astronaut. Spaceman, as I like to call <laughs> Spaceman. This sweet astronaut is reaching for the stars, about to arrive on the ISS to carry out an important scientific research. And there he is without his helmet. See, he got back of his head and front. It's pretty cute. And then, it's next month. Yes, it is. Country Cottage next month. Romantic Spring Garments. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one who said romantic. I felt stupid saying it back then. Pretty floral accessories, delightful toys and friends, Jane Crow's foot stunning cushion pair, only available in Inside Crochet. Um, and we've got this, it's quite cute. Okay, well, obviously it'll be sent to me now. The how to crochet bits, uh, the basics, getting started, the main stitches, in English terms, should I say, UK terms, not English. Um, shaping, colour work and tension. Is that two page? feel like it's a bit too yeah. There we go. Working in the round abbreviations and the language barrier from the UK to the US. 
So there's always like little charts and things you can follow for that. Hook sizes, US, UK and the metric millimetres. And that's it for the magazine. So let's have a look and see what we get in the supplement. The gorgeous granny patterns. Five stunning motive based projects. So it was five. Okay, so this is a waistcoat. That's not bad. That's actually quite sweet. Made one like that when I was young. Matisse hexagon cardigan. Like that too. That's very hippie, isn't it? You know what I mean? I like that. That's nice. And there we've got the um, chart. Greta, great Greta stole. Why don't we just call it a shawl or a wrap? But we're calling it a stole. Stoles are furry, as far as I'm concerned, and belong in old movies. Rio Poncho. Wow, that's jazzy. Kind of sweet there, I like it. Actually, this book isn't bad, I have to say. This little uh, supplement. And there we've got the waistcoat, which was the picture at the beginning. Secret garden dress. Now, that's a bit fashionable, isn't it? Do you remember last year, all those people wearing all those dresses? Um, made famous by, was it Katy Perry at some award ceremony? I don't know. Was it Katy Perry? I want to say Katy Perry. So that would be good. Um, you can wear it casually over jeans or with a pair of tights or just au natural, whatever you fancy. So that is the little supplement. I think that's a pretty good one, actually. Not many patterns, but they're nice. So what do you think of this magazine? Sometimes I don't like Inside Crochet as much as the others, but every now and then they pull out a gem. So what do you think? Like it or not? I don't like the that when they do the things like those little thumbnails, they really are a waste of time. They would be sort of far better doing some other way of displaying them. That's just, I think they're pointless because you can't see it. But um, all in all, not a bad one, I don't think. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And yesterday I did a live stream and people got Quite a lot of people got notifications, so I was quite surprised about that. So it is worth sometimes hitting that notification bell. So there. Yeah. And let me know what you think and uh, join me for the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.